February 12th, 2014. I'm over at stevequill.com on one of his alerts, which says fleas is bubonic plague in our future. It says, hi, Steve. I just had something happen here I've never seen before. See photos below. That's the photo you're seeing in the video right now. We had very intense snowstorm, which lasted about two hours, come through here about two hours ago, which left about three inches of snow. I decided to go out and clean off the deck a few minutes ago, and just as he was starting to clean off the sidewalk, he noticed very small black specks all over the snow. He looked closer and noticed the specks were fleas. He started looking around and noticed there were fleas everywhere. He says thousands and thousands of fleas. He took pictures that he attached. And he asked if Mr. Quall had ever heard of anything like this happening after a snowstorm. As the storm was occurring, though, and this is the important part, he heard several jet aircraft fly over. They're in Craig, Montana, and very seldom hear jet aircraft flying overhead during a snowstorm, or for that matter, at any time. There's a low altitude airway that comes over the house with an MEA, minimum en route altitude, of 13,000 feet. So if I could hear the aircraft, he says, at least three, more than likely they were on the airway. And the fact that I heard the aircraft within 10 minutes of each other means something was going on. What do you think? Now, this is the first picture that was attached. And this is the second picture that was attached. As you can see, there are thousands and thousands of these black fleas in the snow. Now, the reason I said that the aircraft was important is if you go back you'll see that in World War II Japan the biological warfare group 731 experimented using using spreading infected fleas by dropping them from an aircraft and what they did uh, the global security org said is they made up flea bombs basically the UG-50 it was a bomb made of a ceramic container filled with plague-infested fleas and flour. Once the container reached the ground and broke, the flour would attract rats, the fleas would mount the rats, the rats would spread the disease. It's terrifying in its simplicity, but it worked. You have one eyewitness that said, I was 15 years old at the time and I remember everything clearly. Japanese planes spread something that looked like smoke. A few days later, we found dead rats all over the village. At the same time, people came down with high fevers and aches in the lymph nodes. Every day people died. Crying could be heard all throughout the village. Her mother, the father, and all eight, eight people in her family died. I was the only one in my family left. So you have, you do have a history of aircraft dropping these fleas and being used to spread bubonic plague as a biological weapon. Now, interestingly enough, looking it up, I found a story from, uh, it's February 6, 2014, but it happened last year in Oregon. A man named Paul Gaylord's hands turned black as charcoal from the bubonic plague that he caught from his pet cat, Charlie. He saw his cat carrying a dead field mouse in his mouth. That's Oregon. But if you look on YouTube, you'll also see last year in Colorado, a little seven-year-old girl, Sierra Jane Downing, caught the bubonic plague also. Now, bubonic plague is nasty. Mr. Gaylord here, these are pictures of his hands and toes before his fingers and toes were cut off from it. So is now, just to throw this in, at the end of January, remember, everybody was talking about snow, strange snow. It wasn't burning. It wasn't melting right. It smelled like plastic when it when somebody did manage to melt it with fire, and in some cases it was turning black. I don't know if it has anything to do with it, but everybody's eyes could have been focused on the weird snow and not on the little black fleas that were in the snow. So, is somebody playing with us? Um, is it all coincidence, or are these like test runs to see if they can... Uh, spread some sort of disease throughout the populace. We do have a depopulation agenda that has been talked about. So up to you. It's just an interesting theory. Have a good day.